for the shootout. Four. Two two heats. So there's like I think there's eight people in this in this in this round. And there's eight people in the next round. And they take the top four from this round and the top four from the next round and that eight go on to the shootout. So we're out, right? We're out? We're done. Yeah. Okay Zip. Okay Zip, welcome to the Bunky Racing Vlog. Are you excited for the Sioux this year? Oh, we are more than excited for the Sioux this year. What's your favorite part about the Sioux? All the camaraderie and all the people that we go and get to see. Through the and year. the beer in your hand? Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. What's in the other hand? Nothing. <laughs> Who are you cheering for at the Sioux? Well, we're going to go for the Bunky team for sure. And obviously for the Hatine Racing team also. Either one, I'm all in for. Preferably Polaris. Right. No matter what. Always. Well, thank you for the interview today. You have any last comments? No. Okay, Gavin, welcome to the Bunky Racing Vlog. Your first Sioux, what do you think? I think it's pretty fun. There's some great people here. Um, the Bunkies are taking it all. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Okay, so we are here for the Bunky Racing Vlog and we ran into this beautiful couple here at the Sioux from Brewing Company. They are from Pennsylvania. Can you tell us what you guys are doing in town? Uh, just checking out the sites and uh, bought a snowmobile trailer. Uh -huh. Stopping at the wineries and the breweries. That's the most important thing, wineries and breweries. That's right. <laughs> so, how long are you guys staying? Till Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. So can I suggest you go to the Sioux tomorrow? Yeah, we could probably do that. It's we could have to buy mud boots for her. I think well, okay, we'll go find some muck boots. I wish I would have bought mine with me. <laughs> you know, I bet we could find an extra pair for you. What size are your feet? Size eight. We have size an eight, eight in the trailer. We have an eight size. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, I suggest you guys go. If you like snowmobiles, highlight of snowmobile racing right yeah. there. Daytona 500 of snowmobiles. Daytona 500 of snowmobiles. Way to say it, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the best way to describe it. So, if you guys come, sit up on the hill, have a beer, with and with Bruce and Mario, of course. Yes, yes. And can I suggest that you cheer on the number 74? Sure can. Oh, go number 74. Yeah. Woohoo!
feeling that's what we really need to know butterflies yes fine. it's good what are your pre-race rituals to help these guys prepare enjoy the nerves one day they'll be gone i don't have any rituals right. no rituals for me rituals for you guys uh, eat good yeah. prepare yeah. have a little coffee yes get some caffeine in you Sharp absolutely <gasps> today's gonna be great Get up there, Aaron. Aaron. Starting in fifth, inside of row number three, aboard the number 74, Polaris Racing, Polaris for Bunky Racing. Your starting rider, a six time I 500 race winner from Matisco, Alberta, Canada, the number 74, Aaron Christensen. His teammates. A three-time I-500 race winner, 28 years old, from Kindred, North Dakota, Taylor Bunky. And alongside him, his younger brother, 20 years old, from Roseau, Minnesota, welcome Bo Bunky. It's the two-finger farmer wave. It's <laughs> 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 Oh, it's hats. Swag. It's a swag bag. Jiffy. Swag bag. Yeah. Those hats are nice. Jiffy. What is it? Thanks, Jiffy. That's a word for it. I gave us sponsors. Jiffy Mix. That's fun. Shout out to Jiffy Mix. Woohoo! gave all the riders a little gear package. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Christensen, six-time I-500 race winner. He's running in the fifth spot. The 74 machine, Aaron Christensen, lurking back there in the fifth spot. That 74 Bunky Racing Polaris. You usually don't see the Bunky Racing team up towards the front until about the midway point of the race. That six-time winner, Aaron Christensen, he ain't wasting no time. There's Aaron Christensen going up to that top shelf. It's smooth as glass up there. Now in second, that is Aaron Christensen. He has made the pass on Mackey. Aaron Christensen in that bunky racing Polaris. Now he's in second spot as he'll come off turn two and down the long back straightaway. <laughs>
10th spot. That is the Bunky Racing Players. That is your top 10. Number 74. And Bo Buggy, a cross-country expert already at just 20 years old. Yeah. He is getting some valuable seat time right now. I'll tell you what, boy, uh, what better teachers than Dad Gabe and Aaron Christensen to, to fine-tune them Bunky boys. There's a good look of uh, Bo Bunky now. As, uh, he's uh, certainly a very capable driver having a good season this year. We've, we've sung the praises of Bunky Racing for years and years. Gabe Bunky, an eight-time I-500 race winner. Aaron Christensen, the leader of that team now, six-time I-500 racer. Bo Bunky's older brother, Taylor Bunky. He's a three-time I-500 race winner. And that Bunky legacy continues with the 20-year-old from Roseau, Minnesota, Bo Bunky. Open the gas cap for Dale. Got to get the gas oh. cap out of my way to say. Sorry, rookie move. I can't. I don't have enough, enough hands to grab it. I was, I was trying to get the thing off for Aaron, and I was like, didn't realize. Yeah, as soon as I was able to kind of get into some cleaner air, it just I could finally go on the lines I wanted to. No, it was mainly just coming in, coming in hard. Like coming into the bridge, I would hold it wide open probably like three seconds longer than everyone else. Once you figured that out, like the first 10 laps, it looked like you were going up. But Once I figured out where my braking points were and kind of where to, where I could get back into it and everything, it was like easy, just one after another. In the 74 pit here with Bo Bunky. Uh, Bo, you were out there for some laps. I heard you got a lap back. Uh, tell us about your first time out in race mode on the I-500. Uh, it was awesome. I had a blast. Um, I'm hoping I can get back out on there, out there. But it was uh, just kind of touch and go for the first couple laps, trying to figure out my fast lines. And then as soon as I found my lines, it was just pick one person off at a time and just keep going, keep the track down on the, keep the rubber side down and just keep, keep her moving. Well, I'll tell you what, by, by the looks of things, getting a lap back for Bunky Racing, I think you'll get another shot back at it. <laughs> Let's hope so, so. That'd be a tough call for a, for a crew chief to decide which one of these three guys to put on, Aaron Christensen, Taylor Bunky, or Bo Bunky. Awesome group of drivers and an awesome team. Thank back you. up to you guys in the booth. How, how was your first experience of the Sioux this, this weekend? Good, good. That's good. Matt, you talk about a team that just kind of just smoothing right in. You heard Aaron Christensen early talk about how he liked the conditions and out there and the normal ride that you see of that bunky racing uh, Polaris uh, just kind of cruising around out here waiting for the, uh, the shootout in the last of this race doing a good job. You want to talk about sneaky? Look who's in fourth. The 74 oh, yeah. Bunky Racing Polaris. Yeah, they're just uh, hanging out. We're, uh... Leader uh, Christensen on that Bunky Racing Machine, 44.758, just about a second quicker than uh, the 29, the DNL Racing uh, Polaris. That Bunky Racing Polaris continues as your leader here at the I-500. Bring it in when the pit's open. Bring it in when the pit's open. Four spot is at number 74. Bunky Racing Polaris. Currently on that sled at the moment, it is Taylor Bunky. And just like always with Bunky Racing, Isaac, they're just lurking back there. Just being patient, waiting for the right time. It's a force to be reckoned with for sure. I'm sure Gabe's in the trailer already making game plans for what's going to happen towards the end of this race. So anytime they're in the top even eight sleds on that lead lap, 
there's reason to be concerned because they are looking for that victory. As we're watching this, Taylor Bunky now in second at that number 74, Bunky Racing Polaris. second place I got around Birdman I just I stopped touching the brake lever well, however many laps that was I just coasted and no but it, it feels like we've got a, a, a solid sled so I mean it handles good Scott said he was watching us come through one and two and stuff and he said there's some stuff coming in that's pretty pretty fierce and our sleds just tracking nice going through it good we were faster than yeah, yeah. Laps, Cole. Good laps. Nice and clean. Keep it up. Gonna check out now. You are the leader. The number zero is lap down. But Rick TD made a point during our, one of our third uh, Wheeler Outfitters Paul Break interview. Oh, big trouble in turns one and two. One sled into those hay bales. It's both. It's both. Are you okay? Are you okay? It was both. Can you drive it back to the pits? Let's get the hood and stuff off this thing. Somebody might need to get ready. What's wrong? Be careful, it? feel it out. If this front end's bent, we need to bring it back in. We put the hood back on it and took it back out, but you know, we're not out of it yet. How many laps down? Uh probably two. Maybe maybe three. We got time. That Bunky sled is right up towards right up towards the front here. When they go back green, he'll uh, Taylor Bunky will have a have an opportunity to get one of their three laps back. You know that's the plan to get that Bunky uh, number seventy four out to the front, and when a caution flies, you can get a lap back. So I'm sure 
That is the plan here. The hood got wrecked and then uh, wiped the windshield off and then the handlebars were bent, rolled down, bent, brakes were rolled down, but we've got everything up. The handlebars are bent a little more than we'd like, but we need a caution. Second lap fast is the Yep. Yeah, he's going, he's pulling a second every lap. Yeah, we just need a caution, bunch the field back up. And... Until 450. Yeah, we can wait because everybody else is going to have to. Everyone else will come in. Everybody else can have to. We'll have track position. We'll be back on the lead lap. Oh, yeah. He doesn't want to get off the sled right now. No, I know. I, I know. He, I know. I know where he's at. He's, he's Jones and he's Jones to get back on the lead lap and put us in the best spot to let Aaron finish it off. I'd say next time we have an opportunity to get him in, let's do it. Put Aaron on. Yeah. Whatever you need to get to the front. We're good! Whoa, oh, we're good. <laughs> we got about 70 laps to figure it out. 60 laps, 64 laps, 65 laps to figure it out. 21 is now leading the race. Now we just need that yellow right away. Look at that. Look at that. Right to the front. Bowers coming. Back in the game, baby. Good laps, Aaron. Keep it up. We're in this. Hopefully light her up. We're back on the We got a race on our hands. Let's go, boys. Got the Bower sled. Come on, AC. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's got counter. He's faster than counter. Playing with him. Just playing with him. And he'll take the lead with 28 laps to go. Aaron Christensen knows how to win here in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. He's done it six times. Uh, still, still holding his ground, holding his lead. The 42-year-old from Matisco, Alberta, Canada just got some big air coming out of turn number four. Yeah, yes, we got it. Yes! Yes! Caution on the track, there's a crash in turn four. Hell of a day, Billy. Yeah. Good job. You guys did well. To come back from what you did. Yeah, we worked for it. Thank you, sir. We did her. Good job, man. Wow. That was quite the run. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Woo! Oh. 
You can keep that flag. Legendary running here, what do you think? Uh, I was definitely nervous. Uh, this is my first time on the track during the green flag and I uh, had big shoes to fill with my dad, Gabe Bunky, and my brother, Taylor Bunky, and lo and behold, and here we are tonight, and looks like we won. So Okay, Aaron, we got one question for you. Yes. How many cigarettes are you eating tonight? <laughs> I don't know, man. They're bad for your health. <laughs> Taylor, can we steal you for a minute? Sure can. We have one important question for you. How many cigarettes will you be eating tonight? Hopefully zero. <laughs> okay, Bo, I have one question for you. What's that? How many fingers am I holding up? 52. No, Funny. No, two. <laughs> That's what I thought. Of the International Fly Car Snowmobile Race. They are the number 74 Polaris Racing Polaris for Bunky Racing. They're going to leave here tonight with $23,250. I'm interviewing oh, okay, you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we are here with Levi Novacek. He is the winner of the Sioux I-500 Veterans Award as a Marine. What do you have to say about this honor? Uh, it's pretty important to me. Uh, I mean, it means a lot, really, honestly. I was surprised when I heard they did something like this, but uh, it's, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty special. Uh, I know it's special to win the race, but this is also pretty cool, too, because... You know, you get to be part of something that not a lot of people get to do doing this shit with uh, Bunky Racing, you know. 
I don't know. Levi, we are very proud of you. I'm here with Dan and Charlie Reverie, who had quite the day today, especially you, and then you had to ride. Yeah. So well, I want I to... Guess I had a short day, he had a long day. Yeah. yeah. Both interesting days. You had a painful... Well, I guess your day was probably painful, Mine's too. Mine's painful now. Man. Tomorrow will be more painful. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever go get stitches? Yeah, I got six. Okay, so how about you tell us about what happened to you at the start of the race? Uh, basically, uh, was running low on brakes, but I was making making it work, and then ended up going side by side with another racer into corner one. He ended up crossing up my skis, basically cut me off, took both of us out, rolled into the bales about 75 miles an hour, and then uh, Dan took it from there. Yeah. And your wounds that you had to get stitches for? Uh, you know, bad. ended up with a bunch of puncture holes, got six stitches. Separated AC joint. Um, Not bad. More to come. How did your day go then, running most of the race? Yeah, it was pretty wild. Uh, ended up running like 450 laps on the sled. So, I mean, yeah, Charlie radioed in and said, "Hey, Dan, I'll get ready." And I just got everything ready to go. And uh, I just, I was like, "All right, we'll just prepare for running the whole thing, I guess, if we need." But halfway through that, Charlie hopped on for like. 25 laps or so just give me a little break and then uh, ate a snicker bar and had a water and hop back on and finish the race out it was it was tough for sure I'm gonna be sore tomorrow I'm sore right now we are here with one of the team members of number 44 racing Keith Gainforth what do you have to say about today uh, it was good I'm going to be real sore in the morning but it was good I heard you did a lot of laps yeah I think like 250 ish Oh, what do you have to say? It was It was exciting. Yeah, it was good. Um, fun. And I could not catch your guys' sled, so that's about all I got to say. <laughs> well, consistency. Yep. You had it. Yep. You were there Fifth for it every lap. Fifth is good, I suppose. <laughs> it pays off. Yep. Also, your dad totally fixed my hunchback for me today, so I got to say thank you oh, to gosh. Kim Gain for it. Bobby, not you. What? <laughs> Hi, Justin. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Rust and Justin, you put the pedal to the metal today. Uh, pedal to the flipper to the bars. I suppose that's the correct term. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did you have fun today? It was a good day. We learned a lot and, you know, we had a good beginning, a good end, but we had some bumps in the road in the midsection but you know we worked through it so it was a good day yeah and you even let marshall out there i was wondering if you were going to go the 500 yourself absolutely not marshall <laughs> yeah he was out there what two three times did a great yeah. job he did a really good job i kind of had a little heart attack after the first during the first plow break it was like marshall went out there bo went out there i'm like oh they're letting all the children out there to play <laughs> yeah the rookies got their uh got their day I guess yes thank you Justin hi Gunner hey. Hey. hi Dylan how was today uh, today went pretty good it could have been a little bit better we could have beat we could have beat the bunkies that would have been that would have made it better but so yeah Taylor Taylor's 2-0 on me for this year <laughs> but I really liked your podcast yeah oh thank you thank you I appreciate that it's kind of it's fun to do. There's not a whole lot of, of that in kind of in our snowmobile industry, and then to have a racer do it too is pretty cool. Yeah, for but, sure. but no, like the whole cataract uh, collision racing team did really good today, and uh, I can't thank those guys enough for bringing a kid from Minnesota over here and providing them with the sled and everything to race. I can't thank them enough. So. Well, when you come to show like you do, Gunner, gotta bring you over. <laughs> we are here with Wes Selby on the Bunky Racing Vlog. What do you have to say about today, Wes? I don't know. It, interesting track. Definitely didn't get as rough as we all thought it would get. Definitely it held up good. Bunky's obviously kicked ass. It's pretty fun to watch AC and Taylor and all them. I mean, that's it's pretty cool to cheer them on. Uh, they got a good setup going, so pretty cool. Awesome. How do you feel? I mean, it was good the track didn't get rough, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's good. The track was fun at the beginning. Our, like, we had a good sled that was working. I made a mistake. It fell off, tipped over, and then we had some cooler issues. But kind of sucks. Like, a lot of the cross-country guys had a lot of problems. Zach and uh, Tate and everyone, but Reverings. But uh, 
I think we had a pretty good showing considering that otherwise, but it's it's fun. Uh, I don't know. This is a fun race. We'll be back next year, of course. Everyone will be. So awesome. Thank you, Wes. Yep. Back, not the outcome we were looking for today. Not the outcome. So what happened? <laughs> Try me the honest truth, or yeah. Well, my teammate crashed once. And I saw that. The motor decided to just end our day right there. But besides that, it was good. You had fun? Oh, yeah, we had fun. Good. Awesome. More fun now, though. Ready for Ironwood? I hope so. Fingers crossed. Awesome. Thank you.